So state school superintendent Kathy Hoffman wants to tackle this issue now, looking at new counselors for next year and how best to help students in the months to come. Our Adam Waltz has details on that program. Superintendent Kathy Hoffman is putting more than $20 million into hiring counselors and social workers, an area in which Arizona schools are the worst in the nation. In a genuinely traumatic year for many of our young learners. The mental, emotional, and social health of students is priority number one for Arizona education. Concerns over food insecurity. High school senior Claire Novak advocating for mental health resources for students, saying many younger classmates were nervous about returning to school after after virtually learning during the pandemic. Being able to return to the same sense of purpose that they had uh, prior to the pandemic. Um, and they also expressed a lot of concern about the health and safety of their family members and friends. The Arizona Department of Education is hiring 140 counselors and social workers for schools in 13 counties. I've heard clearly that the social emotional services offered by our public schools are critical to student well-being. More than $21 million in federal relief funds will pay for the positions and support them for two years. After that, we will be calling on the state legislature to fully fund the program. According to the American School Counselor Association, Arizona's school counselor to student ratio is 905 to 1, well above the recommended ratio of 250 students to every one counselor. Time and time again, I hear from our students that they need not just want, but need more school counselors and social workers and mental health professionals on school campuses to support their needs. The goal is to fill those positions, getting the counselors and social workers into school by this fall. In Phoenix, Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona.